On the heels of Arrow's announcement, the Colorado Department of Economic Development says another large company is considering moving to Colorado, and an announcement could be made as early as next week. The department wouldn't dive into any details, but it did say the company could bring the same sort of news Arrow did. A big reason why many of these companies choose a certain state has to do with its incentives. Nine News reporter Kevin Torres joins us now to break down how your money is being spent to lure businesses in. If you take a look at this map, you'll see most of the top 50 fortune companies are located along the east and west coast. A lot of that has to do with incentives that are offered in states. Here in Colorado, the incentives are rather low, which is kind of a turn off. A turn on, though, is that we are centrally located. A millions of your tax dollars are spent each year to try and lure these companies in who promise big jobs. We wanted to see whether or not they were fulfilling their promises, and if not, whether your money was still going to them. Even if you're looking at it, you're not really paying attention, so. There's a promising view from the 27th floor of this towering building. Yeah, it's beautiful. We're very fortunate. And every time Alice Kultrick looks out her office window. It's been a very busy year for Colorado. She sees another opportunity waiting to unfold. It's really busy because everybody's looking for some little additional assistance on what's out there. As the deputy director for the Department of Economic Development, Alice is responsible for keeping a close eye on the deals being made between the state of Colorado and potential companies who are looking to call it home. Pretty straightforward. Since 2008, she says there has been a steady uptick in the number of companies looking to relocate to the Rocky Mountain region. It's great news for us. The companies who promise to bring a certain amount of jobs with them are rewarded with an incentive. Um, it can vary depending on exactly what type of company it is. It's Alice's job to make sure they stay true to their word. At the end of every year, the company will provide to our office specific information on what they have actually done. If they haven't lived up to their promise, then they don't get the full incentive. If they haven't met those requirements, then we wouldn't issue them. Um, um, or we'd only issue them to the degree they met them. Most companies have actually met the criteria and some have even exceeded them. Big businesses like DeVita and Vestas, who have brought hundreds of new jobs to the area, have pretty much stayed true to their word, but haven't officially met their goals yet. They've been doing really well. They're moving forward, creating jobs in Colorado. So keep that in mind. It is important for them to sort of show exactly what they're doing before things move forward. Again, a big announcement could come Monday or Tuesday, and I'm told the company could be just as large as Aerobazi. Well, we certainly look forward to that mm -hmm. good news. So, Kevin, when state officials are looking for businesses to lure in, is there a certain type of business or, or types that they're looking for? You know, Colorado Economic Development says that they are pretty much willing to take as many companies as they possibly can. Of course, the higher paying jobs, the ones that are going to bring in more employees, upwards of a thousand, those are the ones that they would welcome with open arms first before anyone else. But at this point, all jobs are good jobs. All jobs are good jobs. Kevin Torres, thank you. Sure.